Vultures 2 is so unbelievably cooked, and it's because of us. Well, not the OTN community, the fans, but not all the fans, one fan, one very dumb fan, who goes under the name of Yay Fanatics. So let's talk about some of the new Ye and how this one guy might have just affected the entire album to never be released on streaming platforms, because we're very close to the biggest it's over of the entire rollout in my opinion. Also subscribe if you're new and leave a like to support my channel. A ton of you watch but are not subscribed. So most of you guys know, but Ye is an independent artist and does not like streaming platforms at all that release music. And it's mostly because he doesn't benefit from the songs getting streams. Everybody knows this. Artists don't get paid fairly by streaming platforms like Spotify or Apple Music. And it's been a problem in the music industry forever, especially with independent artists. And because of this, he asked this one Ye fan page, is it a good idea to release the album on Yeezy.com only? So you, me, everybody that would want to listen to the album would have to pay five dollars ten dollars for it whatever the price point is for the album and it would never ever be on spotify apple music title i'm sure you guys understand at this point what the situation we're going through is listen i love yay i make videos on pro i love rap the culture everything this is such a bad move for yay here especially in the position he's in here with carnival being such a huge song and this fan page is obviously scared to tell him no because there's a possibility that he won't talk to him anymore and he probably doesn't want to lose this contact with Ye. But this bootlicking to Ye has got to stop and it's what is going to hurt the album and other possible albums from him in the future. The big fans of Ye, the people making content, me, are going to buy the album on Yeezy.com. But the general population of people, the people that made Carnival a number one song or at least almost a number one song, pretty much by next week it will be a number one song are not going to buy it the money that will be lost for yay when someone uploads it online and 99 percent of the people who listen to him are going to listen to it for free on youtube reddit discord whatever is going to be insane because it will happen this guy yay fanatics no hate listen we're, we're all here making content but he's only caring about himself here and it's pretty obvious especially when he did a poll a shitload of people voted no and then he still didn't listen obviously a bad person to pick for the community voice to Ye. The poll was eventually sent to Ye, but like he's still just not telling him it's a bad idea. Anyone with a brain here knows this is a bad idea because he's like, oh, they're just so stupid. This is what they want. But listen to me. We need someone that can talk to Jules, talk to Ye, actually listen to the community and isn't afraid to tell them what will and won't work coming from the eyes of a fan. This is a bad idea. Yeah, it will probably make you quick cash, but the album will not age well at all. The songs will not be nearly as popular and it's definitely not the answer to solve the problem of independent artists getting snubbed by these streaming platforms. This is a shorter video than I usually make, but I just got so angry at this tweet. The dick eating is just absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. Rap content on my channel all the time. So I'd love for you guys to join the best music community on the internet. Subscribe, follow the Instagram and TikTok, and join the Discord. All of those links are in the description. Thank you guys so much again for watching. And on that note,